Okay, <clears throat> so we've been through authentication, now we're gonna create products. Um, so when we create a product, um, <clears throat> it's a very basic uh, amount of data, the name, a SKU, a slug, description, uh, the status, whether or not we're going to uh, make it live, uh, draft products don't show up um, using the implicit token, they're, they're kind of in progress uh, status, and the commodity type, which is physical, um, the authentication we're going to use is a bear token, and we're going to pass in that client token that we stored just, just a couple of seconds ago. All right. Um, and then because we're going to be using the product ID that gets returned and the SKU ID that gets returned um, from this creation when we're doing other things with this product, we're going to store those uh, as environment variables as well. So let's go ahead and send. And so this has created a base product um, and it doesn't have any children, uh, components or uh, images, any, any, it's just, just a base product. Um, so if we want to manage that product, let's say we wanna get products, we can use the get and call the same endpoint and we will get back all products. And so we can see if we pass in the client token, we get this draft product. If I change this to implicit token and hit send, I don't unauthorized call. Implicit token does, oh yeah. In, in the old version, uh, the legacy catalog version, you could call the API with the implicit token and you would just get, get cause you're, there's only one way to get products. Um, uh, the new endpoint for PCM doesn't allow, even allow uh, the implicit token to uh, get those products. Um, let's see, delete that. Uh, if we want to update a product, <clears throat> uh, say we want to uh, update the base product. Here we go. So we're going to pass in the product ID and call that product products endpoint and the product ID and pass in the additional attributes. So we'll hit send on that. And so now we've got the, um, the, the EAN, UPC, and the manufacturer part number on there as well. So there's only four ways to interact with each of our endpoints, up to four. Um, you can, if you want to create data, you do post. If you want to do um, delete data, you do use a delete. If you want to update, as you can see here, we do a put. And to retrieve data, you do a get. 